If you have on the chest and the boob stretch marks, lines and aging, pigmentation on your chest, uneven skin texture, you know, those lytic bumps, tone texture, this is all great. So you are in the right place with the right people. We are going to talk today about Colotage. The Colotage? Colotage. The Colotage? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, the body part that we're gonna be doing today is from here till here, basically chest. I have done video on the neck, you guys can check out over here, I'm gonna put somewhere in the corner. But today we're gonna be talking about the part from collarbones down until your nipples. Of course, I cannot show you my nipples and I'm not gonna show my boobs, but I do dermarole my boobs. All right, so let's get started. What I do actually, first thing first, so what I'm using to disinfect dermarole, I'm gonna use a foam therapy liquid oxygen to disinfect the dermarole. It's gonna wait for a minute or two. And meanwhile, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using microneedling tool dermarole on the chest to reverse signs of aging. So when we all sleep on the side, these lines in the middle gets more usually get aging signs than the rest of the chest of the arms, for example. By the way, I'm getting the two removal done. This is kind of looking off right now, don't mind that. So we're gonna be using Dermarole on the chest. So what you want to start with, you want to start with washing your body. So I just showered and then I also going to disinfect my place where I'm actually gonna be. And I wash my hands before this. I'm just going to disinfect this place everywhere where I'm gonna be using Dermarole. And when I apply foam, you want to take your clean cloth. It's not a towel, so it doesn't have these cotton particles. It's totally something that I'm using for my face. I'm gonna be disinfecting that part where I'm gonna be using Dermarole. And now we can start with Dermarole. I'm taking my Dermarole. See the foam is already settled. If it's still you have a foam, a little bit the liquid left on the roller, you can gently on a clean, very clean, new, not used cloth and it's not towel. Roll it like that. So the foam really, really gonna get off and it's not gonna be foamy. And let's start with the Dermarole right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna position myself to show you how I do the Marola. Leave me a like if you like this diamond necklace from my ex-boyfriend. Let's get started. So with the Marola technique, if it's my first time, I'm starting with 0.25 millimeter Dermarola. This is, if you're a beginner, this is what you wanna start with. And I'm always lifting. This is the most important technique with the Marola you lift. So I'm sliding from up in the same, it's kind of hard to see, in the same direction with lifting. You don't wanna do this with the lifting motion if you want to if you have like a large chest you might want to put the finger in kind of dermarol just this part and then another part or if you want actually you can do this you can just go up and down sometimes depends on the body part because my chest is really really wide some women don't have such a wide chest i do have for me it's easier kind of like imagine if i had like divided in the middle you know red line so i will just go down up and down up and down without the dragging don't do this roll lift roll lift roll lift and you do this up to let's say 20 times i say i did maybe 10 let's do 10 times more see it's getting red that's totally normal you can also if you're older than advanced and if you've been doing that you can totally get my body derma roller which i do have replaceable heads and you can use 0.75 head for this situation over here especially if you have like a deep stretch marks i know i don't have children i'm lucky i don't have stretch marks don't say your chest is too nice you cannot film it i'm just demonstrating and now then i'm doing here the same thing for the chest cannot believe i'm showing how they're marrolling my boobs if you're pervert watching this have fun <laughs> and then i'm using that over here for 10 to 20 times i'm gonna push the boob out I believe I did 20 times. And then what I do, I kind of give a little bit extra love over here in the middle. And I just roll like that, like baby rolls. Am I gonna get red? It's totally fine. A little bit extra love because this is where most of the women start aging is in the middle here because we do sleep on the side. Now I'm lucky I do not sleep on the side. Not that much. I believe I spend maybe five to 10% sleeping on the side, but I usually have this anti-aging pillow, Sleep and Glow, it's called. And makes you, it kind of trains you and makes you sleep on the back as well so now different direction we're gonna start here and go up the same way you can divide in half here in the middle imagine this is like a line and you dermarole like that just only here go all the way up 
and do up to 20 times. If you have extremely, extremely sensitive skin, do up to 10 times. But this Dermarola is super tiny, 0.25, so it's not. But look at this, guys. It's still getting red, right? So we do up 20 times. And then we're gonna do on this side 20 times up. Super, super easy. It's great for if you have a stretch marks, if you have pigmentation, if you have bumps. Really, really great for those wrinkles in the middle of the year. Do this with 0.25 once or twice a week. And then after 10, 20 uses, you can jump to bigger size. You wanna replace the Marola every 10 uses because needle gets duller. There we go. And now we do diagonal. One, two, three. Now I do all the way across because it's kind of weird. And I do diagonal in one direction to the left kind of up and then gonna do to the right up if you have a one place where you have more wrinkles you can always go a little bit extra and love that wrinkle a little bit more like this way and what i'm gonna be applying now once i'm done with dermarole i'm putting foam it's gonna be disinfected and after it's dry i'm gonna close it tomorrow now what i'm using to apply after that if you guys don't have money you're on the budget it's totally fine you're done make sure you protect from the sun sunscreen you know a uh, scarf if it's summer it's winter make sure there is no sun rays on that you can get pigmentation this is really really bad i'm using squalene vitamin c cream it's antioxidant it's hydrating it's repairing it's called repair 10 percent vitamin c squalene cream this is incredible plant-based leaping bunny certified toxic free certified no harmful ingredients because the skin is the organ that absorbs everything what you apply and i'm just spreading this vitamin c cream all over my chest this is really great for wrinkles fine lines to even skin texture and the tone i have many people with melasma and pigmentation and they use this cream and they get incredible results i can post you of my clients here and then what i'm applying on the top it's not necessary hyaluronic acid serum to hydrate just a couple of pumps four pumps or five and applying on the top of that and that's it that's it that's it, that's it. If you're gonna say, Jin, you're too young, you're too beautiful, you don't have to do this. That's why I look good because I take care of my skin, guys. I don't wanna wait until I'm 70 and then I'm gonna be wrinkly and old and too old to start taking care of my skin, okay? You wanna start taking care, do anti-aging routines when you're 25, no later. If you're gonna start later, it's already too late. And I'm being very, very serious. Take this as a serious thing, what's happening the way. Guys, this is not the way it looks this is not the way it looks it's the way you feel don't you feel better when you put this a little bit lip gloss like i feel freaking good today i put this lipstick i did my brows yesterday i put whatever massive thing you know my hair i'm feeling good today like i literally feel great today because i take care of my skin i've been doing red light therapy micro needling i've been washing my face i've been sleeping well fasting right now for two days actually at this moment is 40 hours it's 41 hours older this since last time i ate i ate food i do a lot of things for me i know people say oh you're young you're beautiful yes i am young i'm beautiful but i had premature aging when i was 19 i started getting botox when i was 20 i do not have today no botox no fillers i don't do no lasers nothing beauty is also not only externally but internally how you make yourself look is how you will feel and vice versa how you feel inside is gonna represent it on your face and on your skin and on your energy energy is everything people feel your energy when you feel freaking good i want you to feel good i love you so much please subscribe if you haven't and i see you in my next video bye